Hi everyone and welcome to my last update for Virtual Practicum, practicum 1 um, of my video production world. This is the spot uh, absolutely center dead of the island facing north um, where people are, are teleported to and where they start off on the island. So they appear inside this information booth if you remember, this is the information booth we found in Professor O'Connor's Marion Island. And I'd like to dress it with <coughs> directions and uh, maps, uh, etc., uh, that I would post on these posts or uh, inf information that could be put on these countertops. Um, and that would direct people on what would be the steps to consume video production island in a certain order. Well, let's exit the booth. <coughs> and you, as you can see, there's an amphitheater in front of us. And uh, Professor O'Connor's nephew's uh, A-frame uh, in the distance, which I have turned into uh, a church. We'll visit that a little bit later. Uh, we'll also come into the amphitheater in a little while. Uh, I added some benches recently, uh, but students, visitors, um, learners are asked to begin in the TV studio. So we'll take a walk first into the TV studio. And here is where there is a three camera setup. Um, uh, and there'll be a, a fuller set here, but um, the learning process in here will be that uh, a visitor or learner can come and sit. Uh, they can click on either the camera in order to uh, play something on the screen uh, that describes what the camera does, focus, framing, uh, what the cameraman does, uh, and how he communicates with the control uh, booth we can uh, click on the control booth which is here and by clicking on the control booth we will get a presentation on the screen that explains what it happens at the control booth and how the dir director communicates with all the camera people and everyone else that's involved in the production um, different items can also be clicked like the lights and there will be explanation on what the lights are on this presentation here. Uh, it does play video. Let me get it going. Haven't figured out how to go full screen yet without blanking out the Why screen. Why switch to Boomco? The Let Rapid Madness go. Blaster fires 20 darts in uh, seconds and is designed not to jam. So I can keep blasting too. and blasting. Switch to Boomco and blast better. Rapid Madness Blaster with Smart Sig darts and target. I gear extra darts and targets each sold separately. Uh, commercials. More commercials. Hi, I'm David Rotan, video production manager with MonkeyC.com. That's, that's not it. Hi, and welcome oh, to go. Basic Video Production Skills. This is a presentation I created. This tutorial is produced um, for my classmates at the Empire first State semester. College Master of Arts in Learning and Emerging Technologies, or Mallet program. If you have no video production skills at all, this is the course for you. If you have some skills but feel you're a I'm not going to relive that. Then this course but, is for uh, you, too. A lot of learning Let's can happen started. here. Uh, and it will introduce First, the, the uh, learners to learners to um, the basics of a video production and video production studio. Um, as we exit and go to the right here, we're going to revisit the amphitheater. And um, there'll be a sign right at the beginning here which will give a schedule of the programs and their times and what the subject matter will be. This is inside the amphitheater and uh, people can, can take a comfortable seat and watch a presentation on the screen. I'm 
hopefully we can get my presentation going. And uh, <coughs> hopefully these can be programmed. <laughs> That's not. While you review your footage, you are determining what to keep and what to this leave would be an on the editing cutting room floor. Um, You've heard the term. It comes from the time when editing meant actually cutting film and splicing it together. Fortunately, cutting is not destructive anymore, and you can always go back and do it again. Now you know what it means. What makes it good? Uh, in any case, it starts with giving other enough tape, a myriad of presentations can the happen. Last module. In but it here. bears repeating. Get uh, the students will then stuff. further be uh, directed to take a nice leisurely stroll. Down. There are places to uh, rest and talk and chat with people. Um, we'll be passing the uh, gift shop right on the right here uh, with a little... Um, bistro area uh, next to it. The store is completely empty, uh, but it will uh, um, something to work on for sure. And then down this path, uh, and we'll show you this in a little while, when the time of day is different, that's where the sunset is on this island. So. Um, we're in the beginnings of creating an, um, an inviting pathway to the beach. So we're going to create a beach area. And these are all areas and, and, and the mountains that are in the back um, and the church uh, that's in the far corner there. Uh, they will all be part of learning uh, environments where students can uh, practice and try out things with their machinimas. Uh, this is a outdoor lighting area, but let's first start in the indoor lighting area. Uh, right across the way is the camera support corral. In here will be the recreation of the three-point lighting seminar that I uh, created uh, in the design seminar. So this is the beginnings of it. Uh, haven't brought over any lights yet. Um, but um, this is where indoor three-point lighting will be taught uh, with um, uh, examples of what the camera would be seeing up on the screen in the upper right. Uh, so outside will be um, the um, outdoor lighting area and this will use direct sunlight from above to um, reflect light into let me go the other way into subjects that uh, will be displayed out here. Uh, there'll be um, reflectors. There'll be stands that hold scrims. Scrims are things that prevent light from hitting a subject. So you could create shapes and allow shapes to uh, the sun and shapes to create patterns on a face or a background. Um, we'll be putting up backgrounds out here and, and show how all that um, works, hopefully, if we can get the fix physics going. That's a big part of this, is how to get the physics of the real world to happen in a, a 3D world. Across the way here, <coughs> is um, is well a sign that's really not really working well um, hopefully I believe it was only about 10 uh, KC which are Kitely coins um, which is only a few cents but uh, it only appears when you get close to it uh, these are the ones I made and as crude as they are they've been solid and uh, um, working for me, but uh, I left this one just to remind me that sometimes things don't work. This is the camera support corral, and in here um, will be a um, 
myriad of booms uh, that hold cameras and lift cameras up in the air and dollies that uh, track cameras um, laterally across um, a plane, usually the ground, uh, and, do and dollies and, and cranes, which are really huge jibs, and tripods and other types of support, steady cam, all that can be um, uh, viewed, learned about, and hopefully played with by visitors. Um, we're going to do a little flying now. Uh, this area here, so I'm going to just get us flying. Uh, this area here is what is my sandbox. Uh, I've reserved it, and there are a couple of items that still um, have been brought over and not really used by me um, from Professor O'Connor's Island. Um, uh, I'd like to add some more trees and make this like a woods and uh, have sound effects of birds and stuff. Uh, don't know how to do that yet, but that's on my to-do list. Uh, these are mountains that I brought over, and um, I'd like to create along this area uh, with the addition of the woods and the trees um, and more interesting um, uh, places to, to, f to photograph and to film, um, making it a much more interesting area to practice uh, filmmaking. Um, there, there are aquatic, water type sound effects I might love to add here and, uh, and develop uh, this area more uh, to bring uh, visitors perhaps from the back end of the uh, uh, amphitheater um, over to a water area for aquatic type of photography and videography. Uh, here's our amphitheater. Uh, we'll just fly around it. Um, we'll uh, go over to got a campfire that uh, I will lose when I copy the um, the um, when I copy and make a report, uh, an export, a world report. Every time I save this island, I, I print out a report. And uh, this fire does not um, carry over into the save. So it's <coughs> it's something I was able to copy over only once. I can't really copy it. Um, there's nothing I can do with it. That's where I plopped it, and that's where it stays right now. <laughs> um, I purchased this um, stairway. I'm going to stop flying. Um, and... It actually um, was a little difficult to put in place, and it just doesn't work. So I'm, I don't know what is happening with it, but uh, I, it's just not working. So I, ha I find myself having to uh, kind of fly into it. But I've turned this into uh, uh, perhaps a, a little non-denominational church or, or um, chapel, if you will. Um, and um, some videography, wedding videography skills might be able to be taught here. Um, this is a typical environment for a wedding videographer, and all eyes are on you uh, when you're in this environment. So it's important to know where to stand and where not to be in the way, and so on and so forth. And, and there's a lot of rules to uh, also discuss. Lots to learn that way. Uh, I guess I'll fly out of here. Let's see if I can. Okay. <coughs> uh, one last uh, view of the island. We'll go back to the um, video production boulevard, I call it. Uh, also, I added street lamps, which work at night. Um, and that uh, brings us to changing the environmental settings. So, for this little demonstration we'll go to midnight and we'll see how the lights are actually working yeah, it's pretty cool they actually do add light so this spot right here uh, I'd like to 
stop flying is an interesting area that um, one can enjoy as a sunset area. So we're going to also again change the world environment settings, lighting settings to sunset. And you'll see that um, the light that shines from the sun makes this area very interesting, very inviting, and most inviting is this area here, which will be another area uh, that people can use to uh, to try out their photography skills with a sunset and uh, or machinima skills. Uh, I'd love to <coughs> perhaps add some water in between here as this bridge takes you over um, and some other foliage and and some sounds birds different than the other forest and here is a little area that has not really been made into a beach yet I don't know how to create sand but uh, uh, brought over some beach chairs the the, the upright sitting ones, not the lounge chairs, but the relaxed chairs as the, I don't know if the, the title of the chair will come through, but these small ones are also, <coughs> besides the fire, these for some reason are not saving when I save the island. Fortunately, everything else except that fire and, the, and the, these upright sitting chairs are the only things that um, don't carry over. So, uh, in any case, uh, I'd like to just thank you for coming and visiting and spending this semester with me creating video production world. Thanks again. Bye. Until next semester.